Life Audio. Welcome to the Crosswalk Devotion. We're glad to have you listening with us. Today's topic is making the most of each moment God gives us. We'll return with the devotional after a brief message from our sponsors. Learning to swim is fun. British Swim School is welcoming all new students to start their journey in the world of water. The team of highly trained experts at British Swim School will show your little fish all the ins and outs of life in the water, while also sharing valuable knowledge on water safety. So, is it time for your kids to get their feet wet? Sign them up now at BritishSwimSchool.com. That's BritishSwimSchool.com. British Swim School. Make a splash. Our world can feel chaotic and uncertain, but we don't have to live enslaved to fear. Christ has promised you and I his peace, and throughout scripture, he has provided powerful truths and practical steps to help us experience greater freedom. I'm Jennifer Slattery, lead host of the Faith Over Fear podcast, inviting you to join me and my team as together we learn how to starve our fears and grow our faith. Subscribe at lifeaudio.com. Here now. Written and read by Whit Coppler. Be very careful then how you live, not as unwise, but as wise, making the most of every opportunity, because the days are evil. Therefore, do not be foolish, but understand what the Lord's will is. Ephesians five, fifteen through seventeen and I B. I used to be proud of how often I practiced often tasking. It seemed like I was using my time well by doing several tasks simultaneously. But one day, I realized what a mistake I was making by not being fully present in each moment. I tried to carry on two different conversations, one in person and one on the phone, while also trying to visit a museum. Ironically, that museum was at the Royal Observatory Greenwich in England, which keeps our planet's official time. When the chimes of a grandfather clock startled me, I ended up losing my focus entirely and dropped all of my tasks at once. Overwhelmed by stress, I focused on my breathing to try to calm down. Then something wonderful happened. As I inhaled and exhaled, gradually my awareness of God's constant presence with me increased and my stress level decreased. Then, the peace that only God can give settled within my soul. No longer distracted, I could pay full attention to what was happening. That helped me notice the wonder of God's presence and receive God's peace. After that experience, I looked up research on multitasking and found that it actually makes people less productive. That's because multitasking divides our attention, making it harder to focus. The result is that we miss out on the fullness of what God has for us to experience, learn, and accomplish in each moment. Now, I try to savor the moments God gives me rather than squander them. I want to live wisely, making the most of every opportunity to be here now. I don't want to be foolish, living a distracted life rather than fulfilling God's purposes for my walls. Instead, I want to understand what God's will is and embrace that in each moment. I want to be here now. Our lives often get busy and stressful. We live in a world that is full of distractions, and our minds are often pulled in many different directions. We may find ourselves constantly checking our phones or thinking about our to-do lists instead of being fully present in the moment. It's easy to lose our focus and end up missing the moments God wants us to experience fully. So it's important to intentionally be here now in our lives, whenever we can. Ephesians 5.16 and IV urges us to make the most of every opportunity that God gives us. We need to be intentional about our choices. Instead of taking the present moment for granted, We should focus on how to use it wisely to connect with God's presence and pursue our purpose. 
God tells us in Psalm 46.10, NIV, Be still and know that I am God. First, we have to be still, to stop rushing and to pay attention. Then we can know God more. God gives us many opportunities to know him. Every moment of time that God gives us is worth our attention because it can teach us something that moves us closer to God. When we live slowly in the here and now, we can make the most of every opportunity that comes our way to live our best lives. Living wisely like that will lead us closer to God and help us fulfill God's good purposes for us. Intersecting faith and life. As you reflect on the importance of paying full attention to the present moment, consider these questions. Are you fully engaged and present during this devotional time, or are you distracted by something else? Are you savoring God's presence with you in this moment, or are you taking it for granted? What can you do right now to fully experience this moment? What are you grateful for in this present moment? How can you make the most of this moment and use it wisely? What can you learn from this present moment and how can you apply that to your relationship with God? If you tend to multitask when you're busy, what strategies can we use to reduce distractions and stay focused on one task at a time? What are some ways you can incorporate mindfulness and gratitude into your daily life so you can savor each moment and use it wisely? Further reading. Psalm 118, 24. Psalm 90, 12. Ecclesiastes 3, 1. Matthew 6, 33-34. Philippians 4, 6-7. The Crosswalk Devotional is a production of Life Audio and Salem Media. If you liked what you heard today, please take a second to rate and review this podcast in your favorite podcast app so that more listeners like you can find the show. For more faith-filled, inspirational podcasts, visit us at lifeaudio.com. Can you have too many houseplants? I don't think so. Get some Leaf Joy by Proven Winners Houseplants. They have varieties like you've never seen. Big, small, tall, colorful, even some that grow in just water. And the quality is unreal. There is a Leaf Joy by Proven Winners Houseplant for every room in your home. They even come with care instructions. Leaf Joy by Proven Winners. Bring nature inside. Shop for them at the Home Depot or your favorite garden center.